These are moonshine snake plant pups. The left pup has grown out of a rhizome and the right pup has grown out of a leaf. Hi there, welcome and welcome back to our channel. My name is Mommy G. Moonshine snake plant is native to the regions of Congo and Nigeria and is considered a rare snake plant. It is one of our snake plants collection which I considered as quite stunning because of its silvery green variegations and margin of green. This snake plant requires a large amount of indirect sunlight for it to maintain its silvery hue. When the light is low, the leaves of this plant is more on the greener side. Snake plants can be propagated by leaf, leaf cuttings, rhizome cuttings, or by plant division. In my experience, usually the snake plants that are variegated and are not green tends to lose its variegation when you propagate it by leaf. Succeeding generations of leaf propagated snake plants that have lost its variegation will continue to do so. The leaves would usually produce a pop. However, the pop that is produced is very different from the parent plant, like the one that I'm showing you. On the left, you have a pop that has grown out of a rhizome of a moonshine snake plant, and the one on the right has grown from a leaf of a moonshine snake plant. As such, for snake plants that are variegated, the best way to replicate its physical appearance is to propagate it by rhizome or plant division or by pops that have grown out of the mother plant, like this one. We've had this mother plant for about two years. We bought it in, during the pandemic. And now, its pop has grown into a size where we can already divide it from the parent plant. Remove the plant from its pot. Here you can see that we have very good root system. And the root system of this snake plant is actually orange in color. And we have some white also. So we will first remove the soil mix from this plant. What you can do is you can gently remove it or use water. We're doing this so we can properly cut off the pop from the mother plant. And later we'll check out the root system of each. The rhizome of the snake plant is actually not that hard so you can break it using your hand or you can get a scissor for a clean cut here we have our pop and our mother plant and let's just closely look at the connection of the baby plant from the mother plant or the point from which it it grew so here we can see a scar, that's the rhizome from which we cut the baby plant. And that's the rhizome part right there. Yes, that's the rhizome. The rest are root fibers. So they were previously attached that way and I just gently broke it from the mother plant using my fingers. 
Now we have two new plants. Now I will be dividing the mother plant into three parts as I've noticed that roots have grown out of the stem or rhizome and it seems I can divide this so that's what I did. So from one mother plant I carefully looked at the parts where I can divide it further and now I have three the propagations I made from the pop in the mother plant were then planted in small pots as for the soil mix I usually used pumice you can use 100% pumice or 80% pumice in some garden soil. Let me show you the soil mix that we usually use. One of the usual problem or common problem of snake plant is root rot. So it's best to use a fast draining soil mix. Usually the new propagations is prone to root rot so when the soil mix is already a bit wet i just let it be and i water it at a later time so here is our mother plant and our propagations from the pop and plant division i then place this in an area where it can get as much indirect sunlight along with my other plant collections I also made videos on moonshine, on how to propagate it by leaf, as well as the reason for why it doesn't retain its variegation when leaf propagated, like the one on the right. So that's it. We hope that you enjoyed this video and you learned something. For more plant videos, you can check out our channel and subscribe as well i will also leave the moonshine playlist in the description below stay safe and healthy and we hope to see you on our next video bye for now